I'm back again today to show you three more units from The Good and the Beautiful Science. And I have an exciting giveaway to explain to you guys at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. For years now, we have been using the Good and the Beautiful Science Units. I love the Good and the Beautiful Science Units because they have a variety of topics to pick from. Your child can literally pick whatever they're interested in. They have lots of hands-on activities. Now they have videos, now they have the student journals. And so sometimes it's hard to decide which unit should I pick. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video with three science units. And then today I'm gonna show you three more and I'll keep doing that until I get through all the ones that I have. So today we are gonna be talking about the paleontology unit, the botany unit, and the health and human mind. The health and human mind and the paleontology are newer units. So we haven't done any of these before and I'm excited to share those with you. So let's get into it now. So we are starting our year off with the paleontology unit because we were watching, my son and I were watching Jurassic Park, my daughter was watching bits and pieces of it and she just found an interest in dinosaurs. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to get this. So this is grade three to eight and it has 11 lessons. So depending on how many days a week you do this, you can get this done in two weeks or if you know more depending on how many days a week you'd want to do science so you're going to be learning uh, introduction to paleontology discovering fossils introduction to dinosaurs land of giants carnivores and herbivores sky and sea fossils in ice and tar introduction to archaeology excavation artifacts around the world in ancient days so i am going to show you a sample lesson but before i do that there are two books that you could get with this pack, The Ancient Animals and The Ultimate Dinosaur Guide. And this tells you how to prepare the lesson in every unit, your student journal, content for older and younger children. So at the beginning of each unit, I'm not gonna go through this every time. You have your lesson extensions for the grades seven and eight. You also have your supplies needed for every lesson. You also have, in each lesson, you're gonna have your vocabulary words, and each lesson is gonna tell you when to put them up on a science wall. I've actually, I cut some out, but I decided I'm just gonna keep them in the book this year, because what I do is once I'm done, I end up blessing somebody else with it anyway. So I'm just gonna keep the words inside of here for them. So let's look at a lesson. We're gonna look at lesson two, because this is the lesson we were doing, and it has a cool little activity. Okay, you can see that there are beautiful pictures, as always, the good and the beautiful. Um, and then you're always gonna have a preparation in the beginning, tells you what to do before you get started. And so this lesson is talking about finding fossils. Um, you cut out these little pictures here, um, and then you hide one of them outside, and you have your child find it. And it says, you just found an example of ancient life. Sometimes paleontologists have to dig to uncover these remnants, but sometimes they are right on the surface. So then it has some questions for them to think about. And then you're talking about the vocabulary word fossils, which you can put up on a science wall. And then you're gonna talk about what you found is a fossil. Look at the pictures in this page. And you're gonna talk about how the picture that they found, um, how does it, how is it the same as any of these? And then you have, they have to take that same fossil and they have to find the type of fossil that they think it was and put it in the right category. After that, you have three more vocabulary words to put up and then you have a permineralization activity. They have permineralization and petrification, which are two of the vocabulary words. And what you're doing, I don't know if you guys ever heard of oobleck, but it's basically corn, starch, and water. And they're gonna make that for 48 hours. We just made it recently. Oobleck is so cool. Um, and you're gonna stick in, if you have dinosaur toys, my son has some like caveman toys, so we stuck it in there. Um, and then they're gonna excavate it in on by Monday. And then you have a fossil detective activity, which we're gonna lay out all the cards face up. These are all the different cards that I had to cut out for them with fossils and bones and things like that. And then we also have the information cards that talks about what each of these different things are. So they're gonna take turns reading. Well, I know my daughter's only doing this. So her and I will take turns reading it and matching it to the correct picture from here. And then that's it. So then, and then this is the answer guide to that. And it has all the answers here too. So let's just flip through this beautiful unit so you guys can see what the whole thing looks like.
some cool um, things we can do here in Florida. I'm going to take her to Dinosaur World after this or during this unit and I'm also going to take her to the dinosaur restaurant that they have in Orlando. There's like a restaurant that is a dinosaur theme, like the Rainforest Cafe, but there's a dinosaur one. And they have um, you can like a dinosaur Build-A-Bear and uh, you can dig for fossils and just like the Rainforest Cafe, if you've ever heard of it, instead of the gorillas and rainforest animals, it's dinosaurs, so it's pretty cool. Now let's look at the student journal. So for the lesson that we just did, this was lesson one. For lesson two, we didn't finish. This is also lesson one. For lesson two, oh, there is none here. Okay, so, but there's some for lesson three, so it's almost every lesson. But this is the little activities that they get to do here. This is the junior one that is grades three to six, and they have the seventh and eighth grade one, which we did not get because my son's doing a different science this year. So these are all the different activities they'll be doing after they do the lesson. And some review questions. So that is the paleontology unit. Let's move on to the health and human mind. Here's the health and human mind. And for this one, I am gonna do it with my son. So you'll get a chance to see his seventh and eighth grade journal. But in this one, we're gonna be learning about the human mind and the nervous system, the brain, eyes and vision, ears and hearing, mouth and taste, smell in the nose, the brain stem, memory and emotions, social health, emotional health, connecting with nature and healthy habits. There's two books you can get with this, The Amazing Thing Called Memory and A Penny for Your Thoughts. I do think we have that one. There's also videos for each, um, for the lessons. There's a book for seventh and eighth graders called The Addiction questions and answers book. I wonder if I got that. Here's your vocabulary. And here's lesson one. You have to prepare, mix a half a teaspoon poster paint with a quarter teaspoon of water, about a spoonful per child. It tells you all the things that you're gonna need. Um, then you have a nervous system activity here. It says perform the following task with the children. You're going to have them close their eyes using a dropper or a spoon. Put a drop on cold water on their arm. Um, have them close their eyes. Tickle them with a feather. There's going to be a bunch of different things to talk about the nervous system. Um, there's different things to read about the somatic nervous system, the nervous system, branching nerves, neurons and synapse activities. You have some vocabulary words they have to put up, what's in the mind, and this is the answer to the journal activity. So for three to six in the journal, they have to, for lesson one, fill this out. They have to brain, central ner nervous system, peripheral nervous system. The answer is here. And then for the bigger kids, He'll probably have to do the same thing. Let's see. Yeah, he'll have to do the same thing, but then he'll also have something extra to read, probably. Let's see. Yeah, so then he's going to be reading uh, this article on changing reflexes, and then ask your parents if they remember any babies having these reflexes, and then write down what they remember and two to three sentences describing why babies have reflexes and why adults no longer need those reflexes. So let's just go through this lesson so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Social health, having friends, having good friends, communication practice. This is really good, especially for homeschoolers and introverted kids. Any kid, not just homeschoolers, because I know a lot of introverted public school kids. 
but some kids don't have access to homeschool co-ops and stuff and this is good to teach them different ways to connect with people and connecting with nature healthy habits okay and then you will have I'm gonna show you the seventh and eighth grade student journal because it's similar it has what the little ones have but it also has a little bit more the articles are what is extra and the notes section I'll show you both in case Excuse my dogs, my husband is cleaning the pool for a movie night outside and my poodle loves to swim and she cannot see anybody outside without barking so she, we're going to have to put her away in a minute actually. So this is a look, American Sign Language, Anosmia, I don't even know what that is, Why Sleep Isn't Peaceful, these are the articles that he would have to do, Memory Loss, Case Study, Emotional Health, things like that. And then her book is a lot more simple. Just has to label different things or color in different things. Oh, they're making like a little hat, the brain, brain hat, optical illusions, human ear anatomy, emotional health, memory terms matching, nature study, how nature helps our bodies and things like that. Alright, last but not least, I have a little bit more to show you here with the botany unit because they had a lot of really cute things. So with the botany unit, we are, it's grades 3 to 8. Health and human body was 3 to 6. Even though my son's in 7th grade, we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so here they're going to be learning about the introduction to botany, this life cycle of a plant, parts of a plant, seeds, flowers part 1, flowers part 2, leaves, Photosynthesis, plant cells, plant classification, growing plants, trees, and then carnivorous and poisonous plants. And this one has 13 lessons. And here's your vocabulary. And I'm going to go put my dogs away. I'll be right back. So let's do a random lesson this time instead of just lesson one. We'll skim through it a little. Look how beautiful these pictures are. I love these pictures so much. Okay. Life cycle of a plant. You can, they're making a, a little flip book here. Parts of a plant. They're gonna be probably dissecting plants to find the different parts of them and what they do. Seeds, same thing. We did learn a lot of this already, but it doesn't hurt to remember. Okay, let's check out lesson, the next lesson. All right, leaves. So they're gonna do some art observation. They're gonna talk about the purpose of leaves, go on a leaf hunt outside, talk about the parts of a leaf, and leaf identification. Um, then you can read the mini book that's in the lesson and observe some plants. And like I said, sometimes they have videos, which I, every lesson I've picked so far does not have a video. But um, they also get to do some leaf rubbings, which is pretty awesome. Leaf classification, changing leaves. Look at these beautiful pictures. So pretty. Photosynthesis. Okay, so you have a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff here. This is a pretty thick one. Okay, with this we have the flower study book. And then it just has different types of flowers that they can study. And all about the different types of flowers. Okay, and then we have Plant Hunters, the story of two women botanists. And then we have Carl in the garden. So it's not just for girls, there's a book about a little boy too. Then you also have 
the student journal. Show and tell, growing seeds, my hypothesis, my plant cycle, seed dissection, plant observation, microscope lab, optional flower walk. This looks like a funny little unit animal and plant cells, another lab, more observations. They're doing a lot of observing in labs in this one, so this is cool. Last thing I got to go with this was the flower game. It says for the game, pick, the, pick a flower. Each player must be familiar with the 10 colors in the cards. Use this color guide or the one on the instruction pamphlet as needed. Symbols are included for players with color vision deficiency. So this has all the instructions here. I have not read it yet. I don't know how to play it. But I guess they're gonna be learning how to identify all these different kinds of color. I mean, flowers. Pretty awesome. Okay, so it's time to talk about the giveaway. This week and next week, I'm gonna, and, and if I have to do it one more week, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the Good and the Beautiful units that I own. I own most of them. And then at the end, we're gonna be hosting a giveaway. So the Good and the Beautiful company agreed to give you guys the curriculum of your choice for whoever won the giveaway. So all you have to do to join this giveaway is to one, be a subscriber, two, comment on your favorite curriculum, three, follow me on my Facebook group at VIG787. That way I can contact you and get your email and your information for the good and the beautiful to send out that information to. And when you add yourself to my Facebook group, make sure you Send me a private message and say, I am entering the giveaway. This is my YouTube name. That way I can connect two and two, make sure that you are subscribed. So those are the simple rules for the giveaway. That's all you gotta do. This is just a thank you to all of my subscribers for being so supportive. And I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.